The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Following the shepherd, in our gospel today, we hear how Jesus gives Peter the keys to the kingdom, and in this way makes him his successor. Why does Jesus pick him? Well, because he knows who Jesus is. He knows that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And how does he know this? Well, because he has been with Jesus and we hear because he listens to God the Father. And so in this way, he is the perfect person to follow Jesus as the next shepherd of the people. And in our first reading, we hear Peter exhorts the presbyters to witness to the sufferings of Christ and to tend the flock, but make sure they do not lord themselves over them. And since Peter is not a lord, he is a shepherd. It is fitting that instead of having a throne, he has a chair. And the person who sits in his chair is the pope. And the idea is like Peter, they are to shepherd the people by knowing Jesus Christ and listening to God the Father. So my brothers and sisters, let us follow and support our current shepherd, Pope Francis. For like Peter, he is trying to lead us to the Lord, in whom the psalmist reminds us will make us want for nothing. <laughs> 